Hi, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Dr. Navin Kadamuri. I am currently a final year radiology resident. And in this video, you must have seen the title of the video already. This video is for people who have just joined as radiology resident. So the first round of almost all the states have been finished and people have been joining into the respected colleges and there have been people who have joined in my college as well. So a lot of people have many queries regarding life as a radiology resident and what to do and what not to do as a first year radiology resident. So I have made this quick video to guide you and help you so that your initial few months in the department are smooth. With that out of the way, let's get started. Uh, so guys, first thing that I want to tell is a huge congratulations to all of you, you know, getting into radiology itself is pretty difficult because it is one of the top branches which gets filled up at very early ranks. So if you have gotten into radiology in NEET PG, it means that you are in the top 3000, 4000 or 5000 of the students. So you are a cream of the pile. And so I know how much work it takes to get into the top 1% and top 5000 ranks. So huge congratulations to all of you. You guys have done a great, great job and you have chosen a very good field. Guys, to start off, life is confusing as a first year radiology resident, at least for the initial few months, because we have no exposure of radiology whatsoever in your MBBS time, and you barely get any posting or work in the radiology department during your internship as well. So, for most of us, when we join radiology as a first year resident, it is our first contact with the department and with the branch. So, it might be a little confusing, and you know, it might take you some time to get tuned to how things work around the radiology department, but Take my word for it, this will, this confusion will last only for the initial two to three months and after that you will be well in tune with the department and, and you will feel at home. So the thing is, we are more inclined towards either medicine or surgery because we slog so much working in those wards during our internship and during our night duties. So we know a lot of things on basic medicine and basic surgery residencies but when it comes to radiology we don't know much but this confusion will last for first two to three months and after that it will disappear and will and it will disappear and you will feel at home take my word for it so guys to get into the detail there are four major modalities in radiology those being conventional radiology that is your x-ray radiographs and conventional procedures like barium studies or intravenous phylograms and after that there is ultrasonography and after that there is CT scan and MRI. So most of the hospitals in all over India will have all these four modalities available to them. Some of the private colleges or you know smaller colleges in smaller towns might not have MRI facility available with them. Don't worry, you will be posted for MRI outside your hospital to an affiliated college or affiliated university where you will be rotated for, for a period of six months to get exposure into MRI. So that is only small chunk of people. So for most of you, you will have four modalities to deal with. That is X-ray, ultrasound, CT and MR. And you will be posted in respective departments based on a rotation order. So the shifting will happen either once in a month or once in two months. So that is about the modalities in radiology. Next up. So guys, initially there's a lot of confusion on what to read and what not to read. So my best advice to you people would be that read where you belong. So if you are posted in the radiography, then you read books which are concerned with that. Therefore, you will have theoretical knowledge because you have been reading the textbooks pertaining to your practical things. So you have the theoretical knowledge and you are also seeing it practically inside that inside the department. So it is better for you rather than you know studying something else like ultrasound when you are posted in radiography, it is difficult because you will not be doing any ultrasound when you are in radiography and it is difficult for you to correlate. So it's always better to read where you belong. So if you're posted in ultrasound, then you will be reading Romac. If you're posted in radiography, then you will be reading Felsenth or you know, Chest X-ray Survival Guide and Clark's Positioning, books like that. Next up, so guys, there are two big subjects when you join as first year radiology resident. One thing is anatomy and other is physics. So to talk about anatomy, you need to know what is important radiologically. So you will have to read or uh, learn a little bit of anatomy initially to understand how things work. So the best resource for anatomy according to me are YouTube videos. Yes, there are a lot of people, experienced people and amazing speakers who have made lot of radiology anatomy related videos on the YouTube which are an excellent source to learn anatomy 
and whenever you have any doubt or if you want to feel the lack in it after listening to their talks you can always read the textbooks but i feel that if you directly go and start reading of the textbooks like abraham and veer you might get lost because it is such a huge textbook and you know images static images don't provide a very good anatomical memory so i feel that it's always better if you watch the related videos on the youtube you know if you are for example if you are posted in ct scan and if you want to know the anatomy of uh, ct thorax then you just type radiological anatomy of ct thorax and there are a lot of videos that come up on the screen and you know you can watch any of them or either of them and after that if you have any doubts you can go back and see the anatomy textbooks so that is my way of doing it and that i think is a better way for all of you so that's about anatomy and one another small caveat that i want to tell you here is that so to understand radiological anatomy don't go and start watching anatomist point of anatomy so that is going to be little different so what is important for us as a radiologist might not be important for an anatomist and what is important for him as an anatomist might not be equally important for us as a radiologist so it's always better to read radiological anatomy and watch videos about radiological anatomy rather than general gross anatomy in general so that was about anatomy and the next thing which might scare a lot of people is physics so guys my advice for people who have just done radiology residency is don't don't worry too much about physics all you need to know is the basics of how each modality works and how physics of that will help you in interpreting the images or interpreting the videos to come to a diagnosis my point of view is that you don't need to read lot of radiology physics at the beginning itself you just need to know the basics of how each modality works how ultrasound or x ray tube works and how these physics will help you in interpreting images just that's it don't go into too much depths of physics at the starting itself it will it might scare you into thinking that it's a very difficult thing and you are at a wrong place and it will it might give you all the bad vibes read all the physics in a very thorough manner once you are completed your first year and if you are planning to give your frc exam or or if you have any physics exam by your institute coming up at the end of first year at that time you can read, read physics thoroughly but for the time being only stick to the basics concept and you'll be good to go so guys this is one thing which i felt that i should have done during my first radio residency so your consultants and your seniors might be talking or discussing about a case or you are in a forum where there are interdepartmental sessions talking about a radiological case and radiological aspects of a clinical clinical case so we are uh, at the starting we don't have much understanding of how the disease looks on the imaging so everything flies over our head so to prevent that the best thing is that you carry a pocket notebook you just put it in your apron pocket or in your pocket somewhere and whenever your professor is talking about something or you are in a forum or interdepartmental session and they are talking about radiological terms fancy radiological terms you can just make a note of it in the notebook and after you go home or whenever you get some time you just open radiopedia or you know, open the textbook and read about the particular concept and particular disease so that you will might remember you will remember it for longer time and it might help you in future if you don't carry this notebook you now by the time you go home we forget what has happened in the entire day so even though if you attend that particular session if you don't write it down you will not benefit much from it so my personal tip is that you, you use a pocket notebook to write it down the other less effective way is of course you can use your phone and just make a short summary about what the professor has spoke about and you can go home and check that particular thing on the internet or your textbook and you will have a better understanding of that so that's it about this thing so coming to the next one so actually a lot of people have you this type of queries uh, what are the workouts and how much do we get paid so i do not know about the private colleges but uh, in a government college the work hours would usually be from 8 to 5 o'clock in my institute at least it is from 8 am to 5 pm and you will get about 4 to five night duties per month and depending upon how many people are there in the department so that might vary a little bit but in generally it is four to five night duties per month and the salary as such depends on the state government so for example in state of telangana it is somewhere in the 50 it is somewhere near 55000 per month so there's a lot of background document verification process going on and you might not get your salary in the initial few months but after that you will get all the sum of that months and the remaining month salary at the end of those 3 to 4 months and average salary would be 55 to 60000 in the state of telangana in my institute is a little higher that is 75 to 80000 per month so that's about salary and work hours so 
every institute has its particular set of textbooks which they recommend their students to study so you find out what your seniors and what your other colleagues in the department are studying and it's better you should follow those and as such in radiology there are particular textbooks for particular modalities so for example if you are in ultrasound the gold standard is a rumax ultrasound textbook and if you are doing a lot of dopplers then vascular dopplers by pollock is another good book uh, just like that for the entire general radiology david sutton textbook of radiology is what most of the people prefer in india the other more famous textbook is a granger and addison textbook of radiology and there are other small review books also which you can study to brush up on your brush up on the important concepts of that particular disease like core radiology or crack the core i will put links to some of these books in the description of the video you can check them out from there apart from that uh, there are a lot of whatsapp groups and telegram groups where all the radiology pgs in india and a lot of faculty in india are there in those groups to guide the student so you can join such groups as well which will really help you in you know knowing what is happening in radiology and so i will put the link to some of these telegram and whatsapp groups in the description of the video you can check them out from there and join those groups which will help you as well so this was a lengthy video but i think this will help a lot of you to get some clarity into the do's and don'ts of the first year the first few months of radiology residency and if you like this video do like the video and if you love this video do put a comment in the comment section and i love reading your comments and other than that if you think that i need to talk about anything else regarding life as a radiology resident in the first year or you know things like that you can let me know in the comment section below and i will try to make a video on that as well so that's for this video guys and once again huge congrats to all the people who have joined as radiology residents the initial few months are tough but once you get through that it is an amazing amazing feel and you will enjoy every minute spent in the dark room that's it for this video and i'll see you guys in the next one